Hey guys, Trina here. Today I'm going to be working on some cold wax with oil paint. Here you can see I have my gambling cold wax. Let's open that up. Get out a glob of that. So we're going to start off using our 9B um, Graphite Lyra stick. We're just going to lay down some marks. I like these crayons, because this graphite, because it's thick and juicy and you can make all sorts of really cool marks. You can make it really dark. If you get it a little wet, with some water, you can create these really cool washes. Just kind of neat. Lay down some really thick marks. This is the way that I like to start all of my work. Just sort of mark making and getting loosened up for the painting to begin. No specific reason here, just sort of making marks and we're gonna let that graphite dry out a little bit. I'll go back in with my General's black pencil. Lay down a few marks with that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this cold wax and I'm just gonna lay it down. A good base to work from. And if some of the smears, that's okay too. Just want a base of the color. And I'm working on orchid, uh, orchids, orchids oil paper today. Uh, it's made for oil paint, but it's really good for working with a cold wax medium. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to put a layer down over the graphite so that it doesn't mix in with the color that I'm going to lay down. <clears throat> so let's start. We're gonna, we've already mixed up a little bit of this with the cold wax. This is just some leftover paint that I had. You can see that it's just sort of laying down. It's not picking up that color, it's just scraping over it. It's kind of nice, that works. I'm just gonna lay down some of this. This is the Alizarin Orange from Williamsburg. I'm gonna bit with my finger these little more expressive these lines I don't want to lose too much of that color you can tell that color gets a little a lot less orange as you spread it out I'm gonna add in some lines through there a little bit left here on my Next, I want to add in some of this um, mint color that I made by mixing this Viridian green with titanium white. And I think I want to add a little bit more white into that color because I think it's a little bit too 
green. I want it to be a little bit more of a light green. I'm gonna add just a tad of the cold wax. When adding the cold wax, you want to make sure that the paint loses a little bit of its luster, and when it's done that, you know that it's perfect. Maybe a little bit more of that. I really want to contrast this color with that color. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm just going to add some of this color. I want to pick up too much of that yellow. If it mixes in a little bit, that's okay, but I don't want to pick up too much of it. These are just the base layers. We are going to go back in with some other tools and scrape away and hopefully create something really unique and fabulous. Okay. Now I think I want to add in some of this blue. This is the King's Blue from Williamsburg. And these are all of their signature colors that I bought in a set. And I will be sure to leave a link below for that. And we're just going to mix up some of this blue here. And you can see that it sort of looks matte, and that's how you want it to look. Don't be afraid to get in there with your fingers. If you want to, wear a glove. I'm not prone to wearing gloves when I'm working with oil paint. I know I probably should, but I don't. And this is just going to be a quick session today. I'm going to get this paint down real quick. Ooh, I like that green that sort of made right there. That's a nice green. This needs some work over here. go in with my catalyst wedge and work back into marks that I've made. Scraping away is more important to me sometimes than adding. I'm going to bring back some of those lines. I don't want to get rid of all of the color. But I definitely want to give it some movement through there. Cattle swedge is great because you can make all sorts of really wonderful marks with it. You can see how much interest we're generating here by just scraping away those layers, bringing back those really dark marks that we made earlier that are trapped under the cold wax. Sort of like what's going on here. I'm gonna go back in with a my black pencil. Probably needs to be sharpened. I'm gonna add in 
some dark marks. I like painting in sets of three or four, mostly in sets of three. So I really like putting these in sets of three frames. I think that looks really cool. Like that mark. I need some more of that green. I need some more of this color, I think. I like that mint green contrast there. I feel like it might need maybe a bit of I'm gonna add in a little bit of this Italian lemon okra. for a little bit of contrast. A little bit of different color. Maybe contrast that blue a little bit. And again, I'm gonna add in just that much cold wax. You can kind of see the ratio. And I'm just gonna mix it in with this orange here. I'm okay if it gets mixed in a little bit together. interesting how that works over the cold wax. I sort of leave these little marks. And it's probably because of the water. Almost like graffiti walls. great part about Palos Wedge. If you don't like something, scrape right over it. Mm, let's go back in with 
Use your palette knife. I don't want to make it too complicated. Get the paint down pretty quick and sometimes the work is done. Like I feel almost like this might be pretty close to being done. I know it's only been about 15 minutes, but usually I spend about 30 minutes on these. Otherwise, I start to overwork it. Some of that white paper to show through there. And I've done a pretty good job about preserving the white spaces. I don't usually like to add white paint to things. Yeah, I think I might be done. Maybe some more blue. I don't have any more blue left here. Ooh, and I'm gonna take off. It's more that little pops of orange. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Is it too red? I'm gonna add some of this marabou. Y'all didn't think I was going to go through this whole video without putting in a little bit of marabou, did you? Just little pops of red around the black. but I think it's the wrong color. I don't know if that's gonna help me or hurt me. Yeah, it's ugly. I don't like that. Tape off. See what we got. 
fun part, am I right? Fun this part. It's taking off the tape. Nice crisp lines after you take off the tape. We have some really similar colors. They're similar enough, but they're not all matchy, which I like. Bring in for a closer look. I really like what's going on here. I like this part up here. I think that's really nice how that's working together. And this part down here with these lines and this one I really like this section right here the choppy lines I made with the catalyst wedge I like all this stuff going this way and this one I really I think this is my favorite section right up here I like these little see-through marks almost I made with the palette knife kind of scraping down so yeah there we go you can see how they look really finished with a mat just plop a mat on them you can see how they putting a mat on them really even changes of me even more it sort of isolates the colors I'm quite happy with these. Quite happy. Okay. Well, thanks for showing up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.